Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's David and you are watching Rattling Junkie. I'll put this guy back over here. That's the first bear that I ever killed and I was listening to the magazine articles about shooting a bear to the second ring of the barrel if you're in a jurisdiction where you can bait bears. And I did that and well, they said it would be a 200 pound bear. That one was definitely not a 200 pound bear. So on this video, I'll be going over what is considered a shooter bear and what I mean by shooter bear what is a good representation of the species? So if you're a new bear hunter or a novice bear hunter and you still don't know, I'm here to help you out and show you how it's done. Well, that's kind of egotistical. I mean, I'm going to help you along because I got a little bit of experience, a little bit. Okay, let's get at it. All right, so in order for us to determine what a shooter bear is, we need to go over some video and see what uh, just bears look like, just average bears when people are driving on the highway and they see a bear and it's generally just an average bear that's how we get an average so here you can see this is just an average bear or actually probably a bit below average it's uh, a bit smaller yes it's a color phase for all you color phase junkies out there that want to shoot every single color phase don't shoot this one this one's not a shooter of any color it's small yes it's a pretty bear it's brown it's a, it's a cinnamon, whatever you want to call it. No, oh, I must be getting into the, the fancy shots there, but yes, this is not a big bear. All right, let's move on. Here's another small bear. This bear uh, came in on Noah's first hunt when he shot his first, uh, a bear, <laughs> yeah, on his first hunt. I have that on video too. You can check out the videos and, and see it if you want. But this bear would square, I don't know, maybe five feet. Not a big bear, if that, just, it's small. It's a small bear. Don't shoot this bear. Enjoy watching it, enjoy uh, viewing it and observing it, but don't shoot it, not a shooter. So here's another small bear. Again, this is one you don't wanna shoot. Just enjoy observing it, enjoy being out in nature. You can see it's got big satellite ears coming up, big pointy ears like a German Shepherd. It's not a shooter bear. Obviously this bear's young, most guys could tell, but you'd be surprised. Guys get excited and that's okay if you get excited. That's why we're going over this. Here's another bear again, another brown bear. Another color phase for the color phase junkies. Again, don't shoot this bear. It's a small bear. Look at it compared to the barrels. It fits in the drum, one or two, maybe two and a half. Pretty bear, yes, but not a shooter bear. Do not shoot this bear. Okay, this is a bear that he's walking up. Let's look to see. Uh, yeah, that's a boar. You can tell he's a boar. Yeah. We say it on video, he's a boar. I'm with Ryan here filming him. He does not shoot the spare, so uh, don't get too excited there. Again, you can see the big ears on top of his head, big satellite dishes, big, big uh, German shepherd ears. Here he's gonna come in front of the barrel. And let's have a look right there, let's pause it. There you go. That bear, as you can see, he's basically up to the second ring of the barrel. Does that look like a shooter bear? No, you can tell he has characteristics of a small bear, which he is. Big ears, they're up on top of his head. Not a good bear to shoot. All right, here's a quick look at what a 55 gallon drum looks like. That's US gallons or approximately 45 imperial gallons. As you can see, the top of the barrel is 35 inches and the second ring of the barrel is 23 inches. So, Shooter bear we're going to determine is probably in the middle of that, maybe a bit closer to the top. And for reference, there I am. I know I might look like six foot two without a barrel there, but I'm definitely not six foot two. Just a bit shorter. Maybe a shooter, maybe not. Chunky, more like a gorilla bear, I guess, but yes, that's just for reference. So now let's get to a bit bigger bear, almost a borderline shooter. Well, not almost, but a borderline shooter. Let's have a look, here he is. 
I know this is a boar. I saw uh, the goods earlier. He's going to walk around in front of the barrel here. You can kind of notice where the second of the ring of the barrel is. And look, his back is, it's above that. So this bear is going to be in the, the low sixes, maybe high fives, low sixes at the best. Almost getting to a shooter bear, but not quite. If you want to say you shot a bear, you shoot this bear. But if you want to shoot that good representative bear, good representation of black, black bear species, don't shoot this bear, pass on it. Here's another borderline shooter bear. Yes, he's a brown bear, he's pretty, and this is a boar. You can tell when he comes in front of the barrels, his belly line is nice and flat. He's lanky, he's tall, you'll see. Yes, he's got a cool looking face. A lot of you guys would want to shoot him, but if you want to shoot that six foot two to six foot nine, good representative bear, a possible Pope and Young bear, don't shoot this bear. He is not Pope and Young. Now you have a good shot there, you'll walk home with the bear. We'll put him in the tub trailer for you and you'll be happy yes and i don't want to say that it's all about size but again what is this video about if you want to shoot a good representative bear then you don't shoot this bear you take pictures or you just enjoy its company all right so we're finally getting to what a shooter bear is this is a quick clip. This is the only footage I have of this bear because I lost a bunch of footage. But you will see that he is a shooter bear. This one will square in the mid sixes. He will be a Pope and Young bear. It's a beautiful bear. This is a bear you should take if you are wanting a nice representation of the black bear species or Pope and Young. This is one that will look pretty good on your wall. There he is. He's got a nice build to him. You can see he's long from nose to tail and he's got a nice flat belly line. He has great potential to become a jumbo bear. So that's why I passed on him. Not because he's not a nice bear. He is just not what I was looking for that year. And I went home empty handed. So that's what happens if you're looking for trophies. But if you're looking for a good representation, this is the bear you should shoot. That's all I can say about that. Here's another shooter bear. This is no borderline. This is a chubby, chunky bear. Not real long from nose to tail, but he's chubby. There he is. You can see it right there. That's a nice bear. I thought about shooting him. I can tell you that. This bear is a shooter bear. He's going to square hot mid sixes to high sixes for sure because he's long from nose to tail and he's tall. He's got it all. <laughs> that rhymed. But his head is small. His head is longer and narrow. So I didn't really want to shoot him. Plus, I'm looking for a big bear here. I got to keep up with uh, Skinny Ryan and Jason. So I can't be shooting bears like these. All joking aside, this is a nice bear. But one, I didn't want to shoot myself. But if you're looking for that Pope and Young bear, a bear that's going to square 6'6 to... Six nine six ten, shoot this bear. No problem with that. It's a beautiful bear. I have no issues shooting that bear. And you can see there. Look at him. He looks great. That's a great looking bear. Uh, you don't have to be sorry about shooting that bear. Guys in camp would be pretty happy seeing that bear come in. I'd be happy skinning it too. So. Like I said, this bear is going to square six foot six to six foot nine, maybe six foot ten because he is tall and he does have some length to him. So, so that's a nice bear. Okay, so on this bear, we're getting a bit bigger now. This one is probably pushing that seven feet. Maybe not quite, but he's on the bigger side of that six foot two to six foot nine. He's going to be more like six foot eight to six foot ten maybe seven feet here let's get into this one yes i passed him up he's a beauty bear he came in twice for me last year i could have shot him both times you can see when he walks he has that big bear look already it's gonna come through here You can see there's another bear at the bait for reference.
Like he could have that barrel underneath his belly and still have all fours on just barely, but he could. You can see it's almost like a barrel right there, like a barrel with a head on it, but just not filled out. So this bear, I passed him up because, yeah, uh, there you can see, that's a nice bear. That, that's definitely a shooter bear. If this bear comes in this spring, shoot him. You're gonna be happy with him. But if you're looking for that jumbo bear, obviously pass, that's another video again. I keep reiterating that, but I keep repeating that. So let's have a, another look at him there. As you can see from that other bear, he's quite a bit bigger. I'd have to see if that other bear is a sow or not, looking at it. I just know it's small, but he's kind of interested in it, in it. So as you can see, that's a nice bear. Look at the two. You can tell that's a big bear. Definitely a shooter bear. Let's have one more look at him close to the barrels. You can tell that his back is above that 35 inch line. His back's basically over the barrel. So this is a shooter bear. One that I was close to shooting. Again, I was looking for a bigger bear. So uh, I was close to shooting him right here. Jason just told me he's not big enough. Of course, Jason, you shoot giants. It's not big enough. Yeah. That's a good bear. With this clip, I just want to show you a bunch of bears. These are just average bears. These are not shooter bears just so you can get used to what bears look like at the bait site. If I'm talking too much, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and refrain from talking. But I do get excited about this because I've been doing this for a little while and yeah, I love bear hunting, always have. What were those bears nervous about? Oh, it's a shooter bear that's coming in, a Pope and Young bear. Here, you can see him working his way in. You can tell he's bigger than the other bears that were there. He's a big bear. This one is well over six and a half feet big. He's going to be six foot six to six foot ten. Easily Pope and Young. This would be a great bear for a new bear hunter. That's what I thought when I saw him too. And no, that's not an ear tag, that's a burr in its ear. Yes, this area has tons of burrs. But for some reason, the bigger bears don't have all those burrs in their fur. Although this one has uh, what looks like an ear tag. He's curious, he's just checking me out. Oh, I was close, this hurt. This hurt not to shoot this bear. I wanted to shoot this bear, but I wanted to shoot a bigger bear, so I passed him. But let's say you have a five day hunt and you haven't shot a bear before, or you've shot a couple smaller ones. Well, you shoot this bear. And he's good depth from his back to his belly, a big chest. His neck looks pretty good there. His head looks small compared to his body. So, yeah, big bear. As you can see, the size difference between him and that other little bear that ran away is noticeable. So you're probably looking at a six foot 10 bear right there and most likely 19 inch head. So yeah, that's a shooter bear for you. Yeah, beautiful bear. He's got some space between his ears. Yeah, he's curious. He's going to be a smart, smart bear.
There he is, goes. I missed my opportunity to get him. Well, right there is a shot, but... I was debating whether I missed my chance or not. Alright, the color phase junkies, you guys are allowed to shoot this bear. Finally, I know, I was telling you to hold off on those smaller bears. This one you can shoot. This bear, it is short, like when it's on all fours, it doesn't stand real tall. So that's kind of indicative of a sow. So you're going to have to make sure that it's a boar. Because you can get some really big sows that look similar to this. So you always got to be checking out to make sure it's a boar. And I did confirm that this is a boar, so you, you can shoot this bear. It is broad though in the, the chest as well. And I would say that it would square between 6 foot 4 and 6 foot 8, somewhere in there. Probably closer to 6 foot 6. There's a bit better look at him coming through the woods. Beautiful bear, you would not be disappointed, obviously. Like I said, the color junkies, this is your shot now. I'm letting you shoot this one. Yeah, he definitely has gorilla-like features. All right, this is the clip from Noah's first bear hunt in 2019. This is the very shot. And I guessed he was definitely over six feet. I didn't realize how big he would square. Uh, this bear squared out at six foot nine and his skull went at 19 inches. You can see he's quite a bit different, or not different, but bigger, different and bigger than that smaller bear. Let's have another look at him. You can see right here. Uh, how he is uh, compared to the barrel. So this is what a six foot nine bear with a 19 inch head looks like. So pretty nice, yeah, not uh, the biggest bear in the woods, but definitely a shooter bear. The last clip in this video that I'm going to leave you with is a beautiful cinnamon bear. He comes in and yes, you color face junkies, this is a bear you can shoot. Let's get to it. <laughs> that other chunky uh, colored bear. Yeah, he just came in. Yeah, my heart was going here. I thought this was uh, a jumbo. He's close. He's, he's walking like a big bear already. That heavy walk, like I said last video. They walk heavy, or some people said in the comments with swagger. Definitely has a big bear look to him, and he is a big bear. That's a big bear. There's a nice notch in his ear that you'll see. To me, he looked like a teddy bear. Almost like a miniature Alaskan brown bear. So I would say this bear is going to square 6 foot 6 to that 6 10 mark, so... You're looking for that uh, quote-unquote shooter bear. This is the one. Don't hesitate. Take the first good opportunity for a shot. Obviously, I had no shot here. If I was going to shoot him, I'd get ready. I'd be drawn back, and you'd have to be ready to shoot him once he turns to give you a better broadside shot. And he just walks away. He didn't like what he saw. Well, that's the video. I hope you guys found it interesting and informative. I hope to do more videos in the future, such as the difference between a boar and a sow, how to field judge a jumbo bear accurately. 
as you can see, once you start getting into these shooter bears, uh, field judging a jumbo bear might become a bit more difficult. And also shot placement. I know I've been saying the last couple of videos, but I got to get over to Jason's house because he has a beautiful life-size mount of a giant chocolate berry shot. So we could go over that in more detail. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one.